Today, Tesla is dominating the EV market in the world. Many other car brands have fallen behind Tesla, but there is no reason to believe that they are giving up this EV race anytime soon. Here are the best upcoming electric cars that are expected to compete with every current Tesla model, such as Model 3, Model S, and Model Y, and upcoming Tesla Cybertruck. NEO ET5 NEO, the Chinese electric vehicle maker, has unveiled the ET5, a miniature version of its ES6 SUV and ET7 saloon. This year's NEO Day event included the ET5, an all-electric hatchback that measures 185 inches in length, which is approximately the same length as a Tesla Model 3 in terms of length. The ET5 will be delivered to customers in China starting in the fall of 2022. The ET5 will be offered in three different battery capacities, 75, 100, and 150 kilowatt hours. According to NEO, the largest battery pack dubbed the Ultra Long has a range of 600 miles on the Chinese testing cycle, which is the longest in the world. But on the other hand, this would very probably result in a slightly lower score on the EPA's testing cycle. Powered by a dual-motor all-wheel drive system, the ET5 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.3 seconds, according to NEO. The initial price estimate is $52,000, but consumers who subscribe to NEO's battery service can save up to $10,985 on their purchase. Chevrolet Silverado EV The 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV, which shares its electric drivetrain with the bombastic GMC Hummer EV, looks more like a traditional electric pickup truck. And with a mid-gate design, customers may lower a wall sitting between the bed and the cabin to create more storage space. This feature may remind some people of the Avalanche pickup truck from the early 2000s, no longer available for sale. It is claimed that a big battery pack may give 400 miles of range per charge, and DC fast charging technology can give 100 miles in only 10 minutes. Silverado EV will be capable of towing 10,000 pounds and pulling up to 1,300 pounds of payload thanks to its dual electric motors, which offer all-wheel drive and up to 664 horsepower. At launch, the Silverado EV will be available in WT, Trail Boss, and RST trims, but Chevy claims mid-range options will be introduced later to complete the roster. However, the WT model would set you back a whopping $39,900 before taxes and fees. Polestar 5 Polestar's eye-catching Precept concept car will now proceed into production, and the Polestar 5 will go on sale in 2024, according to the company. It is anticipated that the Polestar 5 will be an entirely new car for the company, based on the outstanding Precept concept. Similar to the smaller Polestar 2, the Polestar 5 is intended to be powered by two electric motors, one mounted up front and the other mounted at the rear. The Polestar 2 produced a combined 402 horsepower on a test track and was able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 4.1 seconds, and so the Polestar 5 is expected to be even better. There will be additional competition for the Taycan and Model S performance models from the 5, which is likely to have a higher horsepower rating and be somewhat quicker than the 2. There hasn't been any news on how much the car will cost yet. However, electric powertrains and lavish interiors aren't exactly inexpensive these days. When these two elements are taken into consideration, a starting price in the six-figure area is more than likely. Kia EV6 Tesla Model Y has a perfect rival in the face of Kia EV6, which is a wonderful option if you like the technology in that car but aren't a fan of the retro-futuristic styling. The EV6 is the more traditional of both, with a lower and sportier stance, while the EV7 is the more luxurious. This is mirrored in the car's handling, which is more responsive thanks to a stiffer suspension. If you're looking for a vehicle that can go long distances, you'll want to go for the long-range RWD model. In addition to its 77.4 kWh battery's greatest range of up to 328 miles, its 7.2 second 0 to 62 mph speed is fast enough. With a public charger that is first enough, you can get your battery from 10% to 80% charged in about 20 minutes with any model. 
This car's interior is appealing due to its dual 12.3-inch curved touchscreen displays that serve as the dashboard's centerpiece. The entry-level model starts at a range of $40,900. Ram 1500 EV The all-electric version of Ram's famous 1500 full-size pickup truck will come sometime in 2024. It will not instantly replace the gasoline-powered model, but it is clear that the vehicle's long-term future is battery electric. There aren't many facts available at this moment about the car, which is now a part of Stellantis, other than the fact that it will run on a new platform and offer rapid charging of up to 150 kilowatts. An EV trip energy meter, charge station locator, preconditioning, and a variety of driving modes are all expected features. Ram is thought to be aiming for a 500 mile range. To put that into perspective, Ford's new F-150 Lightning has a maximum range of 300 miles, while the GMC Hummer EV has a range of 350 miles. Ram is going all in on this one, with the ultimate goal of redefining the segment. The 2024 Ram 1500 EV has not yet been revealed in terms of price, trim levels, or optional features. But our best prediction is that the F-150 Lightning will start at $42,000 and that price is expected to rise over the following several years. So we'd expect the electric Ram 1500 to debut at roughly $45,000. Ford Explorer EV The most popular three-row SUV in the United States is getting an electric variant. However, the debut of the Ford Explorer electric vehicle has been pushed until 2024, according to the manufacturer. But, despite the lack of an official explanation, it's not difficult to deduce why the delay was put. Ford will have to triple production of the Mustang Mach-E electric crossover in order to keep up with the demand from customers. In order to treble output, taking over another facility with Mustang Mach-E's is the most effective option. Unfortunately, no information on the Explorer EV's specs or horsepower statistics has been revealed yet. But as a point of reference, the driving range of the Mach Electric E, which will be among its competitors, varies depending on the configuration and may reach up to 305 miles. Also, the Tesla Model X has a current range of 332 miles. However, while the Explorer's exact position is unclear, an increasing field of EV competitors with ranges between 250 and 300 miles will force it to beat such numbers. When it comes to prices, no official prices on any estimates have been provided yet, and so we will have to wait. GMC Hummer EV SUV one of the most legendary off-road vehicles of the past century will be reimagined as an electric GMC Hummer in 2024. Although Hummer is now a GMC trademark, its distinctive style and impressive off-road capabilities are still accurately preserved in electric vehicle form. Real-world maximum torque ratings will most likely be in the region of 1,000 to 1,100 pound-feet. And despite its size and weight, the most powerful Hummer EV SUV has a stated 0 to 60 mile per hour speed of around 3.5 seconds. A massive 200 kilowatt hour battery pack has been confirmed by General Motors, although neither the official dimensions nor the actual usable capacity has been disclosed. Although the electric SUV has a stated driving range of over 300 miles, it can be charged at up to 300 kilowatts at lightning fast rates. GMC has published pricing and is now accepting orders for the 2024 Hummer EV SUV. $79,995 is the base price for the vehicle. Lagonda All-Terrain As previously indicated by Aston Martin, Lagonda will be an electric-only brand which eliminates the need for the company's designers to find a spot for one of the company's strong engines up front. While the all-terrain does not have the sedan's long overhang, exquisite lines, or coach-hinged back door, everyone entering or exiting the vehicle will have the feeling of being more important than they actually are. According to previous rumors, the car would be equipped with an all-wheel drive and a battery pack mounted beneath the vehicle's body. Andy Palmer, the CEO of Aston Martin, has previously claimed that he expects electric vehicles to perform comparably to gasoline vehicles and that he expects battery packs to provide a realistic touring range, 
meaning a driving range of more than 300 miles between recharges. But unfortunately, Aston Martin has not released any technical specifications for the Lagonda All-Terrain. The Lagonda All-Terrain SUV is slated to start at $176,900, which is significantly more expensive than the competition. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out these videos shown on your screen right now.